um, I'm gonna start my reading vlog for my Twilight Readathon right now. So I am starting, it's July 1st and I started Twilight today so I am about four chapters in. I just wanted to hop on here and start it because I filmed a bunch of other videos and so I've already got everything sort of set up in here. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited um, to be reading it. I don't know how exciting this reading vlog is gonna be. I do plan on rewatching the films. Um, and I wanted to mention, I'm going to read them in the order that Goodreads has them. So it's like Twilight, then Life and Death, then New Moon, um, Eclipse, Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and then Breaking Dawn. Is that six? Yes. So that's how I'm going to read them. Um, I think. I might read Short Second Life of Brie Tanner out of order, depending on how far I get before Becca's Bookopolathon. But also, I might just read whatever one I'm reading for the Bookopolathon. So... I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm planning, I'm hoping that I can read like one and a half a week, if that makes sense. Like, I'm hoping this week I can read all of Twilight and most of Life and Death. And then next week I'll read Breaking Dawn and then start Eclipse. And then the week after that I'll read the rest of Eclipse and the short second life of Brie Tanner. And then the last week I'll read Breaking Dawn. Did I say Breaking Dawn when I met New Moon earlier? I might have. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm doing. Um, and then I think I'm going to actually rewatch the Twilight movies. Maybe like on a binge. Like just binge watch all of them. But I don't know for sure yet. But anyways, I just wanted to vlog a little bit. I don't vlog really. Ever. I've never vlogged. So. I don't know. I know people usually do other things in vlogs besides just say, hey, I'm at this part of the book. But. I have to read all these books on my phone and I vlog on my phone so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that but maybe I'll show you like me eating cookies later or something I think that's something that people do a lot anyways that's it thanks okay hi I'm in my kitchen for this update I just wanted to say I just finished reading Twilight it's like four o'clock on Thursday, July 2nd. So um, I finished reading Twilight and I will say, I don't remember it being as like, what's the word? It just, it, it Edward and Bella go on like one date and then she's like, well, I'm in love with you. And it's, we just all accepted that and said that that was okay. And I don't remember it being like that. Like, I feel like I remember really, really buying into their love. And I do later on in the book, but truly wild. I did not realize that it was that much of a jump. Um, but I did start Life and Death, which I'm apprehensive about because I looked, <laughs> I haven't read it before. Um, it's, if you don't know, Life and Death is the retelling that Stephanie Meyer released 10 years after Twilight came out. Um, and we all thought it was Midnight Sun, <laughs> but it wasn't. It was, uh, Life and Death, which is a retelling of Twilight, but it's like supposed to be gender bent. She literally just changed the character's gender. That's all that is different. It's the same story, I'm pretty sure. But I did see one Goodreads review and I didn't read any spoilers about it, but it said that the ending is different. So I'm excited to see that. Um, other than that, went to the grocery store today. I haven't really done anything. Um, but it's 4th of July this weekend, which means Matt and I don't have work tomorrow. So we're just gonna chill all weekend and we were supposed to have roofers at our house but they're not coming till monday apparently so that's exciting um i just want to update you with that that's really all i have to say uh yeah i need to work on doing like b-roll probably for this because i imagine this is really boring that's it i'll see you later when i have another update i guess
about to watch Twilight. I just wanted to peek in and let you know. Um, I think, I don't know when the last time I talked to you guys was, but I'm still reading Life and Death. It's still the same as Twilight. I'm still eating tofu and spinach. Mm -mm. But I'm about to start Twilight. Um, I have a ton of homework that I should be doing and I should be reading, uh, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna read Twilight or watch Twilight instead. Um, but yeah, just wanted to check in. Got the boys with me. We're just chilling. Okay, talk to you soon. <laughs> Good morning. It's actually like 11.30, but I'm just hopping on to check in with the vlog. The vlog. Um, I finished Life and Death yesterday, but we had the roofers here, so I didn't want to record while there was a bunch of banging in the background. Um, but yeah, it's the same as Twilight. The only real difference is the ending. Um, and obviously everyone's gender swapped, but that doesn't really even change the story at all. And I'm... I knew what to expect going into it because I had read reviews that basically said that it's the same as Twilight and you don't need to read it. Um, that being said, I feel like she could have done, she being Stephanie Meyer, could have done something really interesting with the story by reversing the genders. And I honestly wish that everyone else had seen the same, but Edward and Bella. Like I wish that she had just made it Bo and Edith. I also wish she'd spelled Edith, not in the pretentious way that she spelled it, but oh why i guess my other big gripe is that the rosalie as a boy was named royal i'm sorry what Ro royal and he's supposed to be born in 1915 or whatever come on would anyone no no i refuse to believe that that was a real name back then i've never met a person named royal anyways but i would expect it now that people are naming, like, Michael Jackson named his kid Prince or whatever. I feel like it's kind of the same thing. Um, actually, I think it's, he named it Michael Jackson Prince. Michael Prince Jackson? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about Michael Jackson right now. But, Royal? Really? Royal? Um, so that got my nerves. But I guess I should, shouldn't have had high hopes because she named Edward and Bella's kid in the actual thing, Renesse May. So I shouldn't have had hope that she would name any characters good things. But, um, yeah, I kind of wish that she had just changed the genders of the main characters. And I wish that she had, like, actually played with the idea of, like, what if Bella had been Bo? And what if Edith had, Edward had been Edith? You know, I wish she'd actually, like, gone with that instead of just being like, well, I'll just change all their names and leave the story the exact same. Great. Because it didn't really change anything. Um, there was a scene in Port Angeles when in Twilight, Edward saves Bella from the group of men, that change, that scene changed a fair bit um, because obviously Bo, maybe not obviously, but Bo probably wouldn't be as worried about running into a group of drunk guys and a group of drunk guys probably wouldn't have the same intentions when stopping, you know, a six feet tall, 17 year old boy that they would, like a five foot one, five foot five, I don't know how tall Bella is. I put myself in her shoes. Um, like, girl, if that makes sense. But, so that was interesting. The ending, I will say, they did change the ending. It gave Twilight, like, an alternate ending of, like, what if this had happened instead? And I waited for that ending because I read in a, like, a spoiler-free review that didn't say what the ending was. I read in that, and so I spent the whole half, second half of the book being like, well, is this going to be where it's different? Is this going to be where it's different? And it's literally just the very, very ending. So, I mean, if you ever wondered what Twilight would be like if things went the opposite way, I would say maybe read the last, like, four or five chapters, because um, that could be interesting, but other than that, I don't think it's worth reading, um, especially right after Twilight, because it is so, 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 so similar, but I'm done with that. I started New Moon this morning. I've got it on an audiobook because I've read it before, so I figured that would be just a quicker way to get through it and I can listen to it when I'm doing random stuff. Like today, I have to, I don't have to, that sounds bad, but it's Matt's birthday. So I'm gonna throw him a birthday party. Um, I think he knows kind of, but I got him a present and I've got 
Um, I'm gonna try to order takeout. He has two favorite restaurants. One is further away than the other, so I'm gonna try to order it from the closer one first, but I don't know if they're open for takeout right now. Uh, the other one I'm pretty sure is open for dine-in, which is horrifying. But they will obviously have takeout, but it's just in a few towns up from us. Um, I'll have to call those places, but I don't think any of them would be open now. The one Rogers would be probably because it's probably open for lunch, but I think the one in Fayetteville is just a dinner place. But all that to say, I'm doing some work stuff right now on my computer. Um, again, it's like 1130. I'm going to stop and eat lunch in a minute and take the dogs for a walk probably in a minute, in like an hour, I think. Um, I still have some class stuff. I'm kind of behind on my classes because I didn't do any yesterday. So I need to do yesterday's and today's classes um, for that summer's course that I'm in. And then I'm going to start decorating probably around three. Decorating. I bought like a sign. And um, Matt wants a burnt basque cheesecake for his birthday cake. He's not a big like cake and ice cream type of guy, which is fine. But I think we're gonna make that together because he likes to cook with me. But yeah, and then, oh, I forgot. I saw Matt sent me a TikTok months ago. In lockdown still, but probably in like April. And it was um, April or May. But it was a TikTok of like Trader Joe's limeade and someone made like a cherry limeade mixed drink with it and Matt sent it to me and was like can we do this for my birthday and then I didn't log on to TikTok for like two months so I got it a week or two ago and I downloaded the video so I would remember but I went and bought I'll show you I bought one of those giant jugs of I thought it was limeade but it was actually lemonade but I'm freezing it right now So ignore the random like pizza and hash browns. <laughs> but this is the lemonade and I think it's pretty well frozen. It is, so I need to cut it into squares. So I'm gonna cut it into squares and then you're supposed to serve it, um, blend it with frozen cherries, which I bought, and um, vodka. So we're gonna do that and that should be really fun. But yeah, that's my update for the vlog right now. Um, if I remember, I'm gonna film myself making the tray limeades. We're just gonna blend them. And maybe decorating. By decorating, again, I just bought a sign. It just says happy birthday on it, but I think it'll be fun. I'm real excited. 24, he's finally my age. <laughs> uh, okay, but I will check in with you guys some other time. Okay, bye. Get dogs, they said. It'll be fun, they said. This is one day's worth of hair in one room. And it's all because of you. And you. <sighs> Disgusting. Okay, hi. I wanted to check in with the vlog because I haven't in like, I don't know how long. I filmed like B-roll footage, but I haven't actually filmed anything of me like telling you what I'm doing or how I'm doing in rereading the Twilight series, rather. So I finished New Moon, I watched the movie, which I ended up renting on YouTube because I couldn't find a good stream that wasn't gonna drive me crazy. So I don't know if I've already said this or not, New Moon is my favorite one. Everyone hates it because Edward's not in it. But I think that's why I like it so much. And I think the wolves are a lot more interesting than the vampires, no offense. Anyways, um, that being said, I'm reading Eclipse right now, or I'm listening to it as an audiobook. Um, I have to go to my hair appointment because I'm getting my hair redyed. Don't worry, we wear masks and there's only like three people allowed in the salon or like three visitors and it's big, whatever, spaced out. Um, I'm listening to Eclipse, I'm about six-ish hours in. Uh, which is just over a third of the way done. I don't remember the plot of Eclipse or Breaking Dawn pretty much at all, which is weird. And I know I saw the movie in theaters, but I don't think I saw it after that. And I saw Breaking Dawn, the first one, I think, but I don't think I saw the second part. I don't know. I don't remember, but I'm excited to finally watch those movies or see them again. And that's probably it. Um, I also finished The Stand. That's why I haven't really been reading or updating this vlog. 
because I haven't really been reading Twilight. I've been reading The Stand because I rented it from the library and it's 100 pages and I was going to run out of time. And so I just finished that over the weekend. I didn't end up getting to participate in Becca's book off because I needed to read The Stand and I had like over half of it to go. Sorry, I'm looping this way. Do you see this like disgusting red wall that we just have? We have a clock that doesn't work. And Billy Bass. And that's our like bedroom hallway. But um, I just wanted to come over here and get my coffee. But yeah, that's it, I think. So today's the 15th, I think. Today's, I think today's the 15th, so I'm halfway through, I'm halfway through the month and I'm, I think I'm on track to be halfway through my TBR. I was dividing up the pages yesterday and I needed to read like 118 extra pages last night, even though I read like 400 pages of the stand yesterday because I just didn't read for a time. I was reading like 50 pages a day for a little bit there and I need to read 224 pages a day to finish my TBR on time. So listening to audiobooks is really helping with that. Um, I don't know if I'm in a reading slump or if I'm just like genuinely busy because I haven't taken a class in July. I'm still doing my internship and I um, we have the write-on competition for our two law journals. So I'm doing that right now and that's due on Monday. So I really need to finish that and I'm stressed really stressed about it <laughs> but anyways um that's that so I'm gonna go to my hair appointment and get these roots touched up a little bit and then I probably will schedule the next one for three months from now because I feel like two months was too soon I could have gone at least another two weeks if not four weeks um maybe I'll regret that but I think I'm gonna do it three months out this time anyways that's that and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, bye. I have a reading update. As usual, I'm just standing in front of a window in my house. Um, I did finish Eclipse the other day. I have a lot of thoughts on Eclipse. I don't like it. It might be my least favorite. It's definitely my least favorite that I've read so far of the Twilight books. But I also just like, it's the character's worst book. I think I like Bella more than any other character in Eclipse, which is weird. I'm gonna sit down. It's weird because, like, usually I feel like I, not that I don't like Bella, but I feel like I don't like her as much as I like, like, I usually like Jacob a lot, and I usually like Alice a lot, and Charlie is usually my favorite character, and in Eclipse, all of them, for some reason, sucked. Like, I always think Edward kind of sucks. Um, I like him in Breaking Dawn, but that's pretty much it. Sorry if you like Edward a lot. Um, I just think he's not a very compelling love interest, because he's like rude and demanding and controlling and he's just more of the same basically but I start to like him more at the end of Eclipse I found um when he starts being like oh Belle is a person with feelings maybe I should listen to her feelings I don't know uh Jacob sucks and he like assaults Bella in Eclipse which I don't remember happening from ever before and when she goes home and tells Charlie about it Jacob's all smug and laughing about it and Charlie's like ha ha good job kid and like no who's dad would ever do that I don't know I hate it um still love Renee Renee is great Alice was getting on my nerves too like with the whole I feel like with the birthday party in New Moon Alice like kind of knew that Bella didn't want to have a birthday party but Bella was also kind of like well I like this family so I'll let them do this thing graduation party with like everybody Bella knows and she didn't want to do it at all and I get that that could have been also for Alice and Edward but it definitely wasn't and like the whole wedding dress fiasco which ended up being a nice dress I guess Bella liked it but like forcing them to have like a real wedding I just think I don't know I don't know I just didn't like it very much it didn't sit well with me I like the conflict in Eclipse better than I liked the conflict in New Moon um like with the Volturi involvement and the like newborn army I thought that was really interesting I like that we got more of Jasper's backstory because I think Jasper's a really interesting character um but I just think so much of the book is focused on like the like love triangle that doesn't really exist but they're trying to force because none of Bella's love interests have boundaries I just hate that personally so I did get to read this morning the short second life of Bree Tanner I just listened to it as an audiobook I think it's like a four-hour audiobook. I listen to my audiobooks typically on double speed, especially if it's like something I'm familiar with. 
And I thought it was really interesting because that goes into a lot more detail of the newborn army, obviously. Brie Tanner is the character at the end of Eclipse who is the last newborn standing and the Volturi destroys her. This vlog is full of spoilers, but I'm probably going to have to put that on there because, I don't know, I feel like I can't do reading an entire series spoiler free. There would be no point. I would be like, yes, I read it. I liked it. That was it. But anyways, I still need to watch Eclipse. I did end up watching New Moon. I still think it's hilarious that the book, um, the book version of Jacob is like, starts off at like six foot one, then he's six foot three, and then he's six foot five, and they had Taylor Lautner play him, and I think Taylor Lautner's like five eight <laughs> or five nine. Like, beautiful man. It just cracks me up to think about. Do you ever think about that? I think about that. I think Robert Pattinson is taller than him. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you want to come hang out? Murphy's gonna come hang out with me. You being a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yes. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no. No, no. Okay, that's fine. So, um, it's stinky. I'm, yeah, so I finished that. That was really good. Um, I just, like, I like the universe enough. I think in Eclipse, the main characters... Oh, my God. Please go somewhere else. <laughs> the main characters started to really get on my nerves. So, I think it was nice to get to, like, see some other characters who aren't, like, the characters you're always with. Does that make sense? I don't know. I thought Brie was really interesting. I thought Diego was really interesting. I thought it was interesting to get a glimpse, like, an insider's glimpse. Ow! No! Get down. Don't hit me in the face. Did you see that? Get down. What a butthead. He wants attention, that's why. He's still <laughs> grabbing my arm. Hi. Um, but I think... What was I even saying? I don't know. I read it. I liked it. Thought it was cool. Um, my Basically, my final thoughts are perhaps Angela Weber is the only good Twilight character. Let me know what you think about that. <laughs> um, but today is Friday. Um, it's the last... It's the marks. It's the marks. It marks the beginning of the last weekend that I have to do my write on for law school. Um, so I'm working on that and it's not going great. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I have to do some online class stuff as well. And then it's the weekend and I'm probably going to be working on my paper all weekend. And I don't know if I do anything else interesting, I guess I'll let you know, but I probably won't. I hope you guys are having a good time. Okay. I should probably have said, I think it's the 17th of July today. Oh, and I'm ahead on my TBR for the month, so that's pretty cool. I did film my sorry TBR, so I already know what's happening for next month. Um, spoiler alert, not a lot, to be honest with you. I've picked out the books for it and stuff. I just need to film it. Um, I do it kind of early because I like to, I don't know. There are books on my TBR that I don't own physically, and sometimes I don't own a book physically that will fit a prompt and I don't have a like I don't have access to a library book like that library book that would fill the prompt and so I use that as an excuse to buy myself books so uh I don't think I have to do that with any I might anyways because there's one book that I think I'm gonna really like I don't need to go into this right now but yes I filmed that I need to my niece is turning one at the end of July so I need to figure out a way to get a few other things for her birthday box. I have a couple books in there. I sent her some prints from Etsy, but I had those delivered to her house in Hawaii because I didn't want to have to just deliver them here and then ship them out, whatever. Um, but I have the books here because I bought them when I bought some other stuff. And I want to get that to her. I guess I could show you. You don't care. Okay, great. That's it. I'll check in with you when I check in with you. Thanks for being you. Okay. Hello. I finished watching Eclipse this afternoon. Finished and I started and finished watching Eclipse. I also just filmed my tier ranking House of Earth and Blood characters. And I think, because I was planning on having this vlog go up next Sunday, which is the 26th. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to, oh, sorry. I have a feeling I'm going to have to push it until August, maybe? I don't know. Because I, the last video of every month is always my next month's TBR. And the first two videos of every month are always my shop, my stash, and my wrap-up. 
So unless I push one of those videos to put this up before it, I think this is going to go up like in the middle of August, which is kind of awkward. But I mean, I don't really care because I already filmed it because I just don't think my thought process is I don't think I can finish reading Breaking Dawn and because I haven't started it yet because I wasn't going to start it until I watched Eclipse. So I'll probably start it tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. Um, because I started a different book in the meantime. It doesn't matter, but... Because I'm thinking if I finish it, I'll probably be able to finish the book this week. But then I have to watch both parts of the movie. Or I, I've been watching the movie, so I would like to watch both parts of the movie. To just be able to get like a quick discussion. And I haven't seen a clip or Breaking Dawn Part 2. So I'm so sorry. I'm trying to like make myself comfortable and it's just not working. Is this comfortable? This is kind of awkward, but I might do this. I put away my tripod or whatever. Oh boy, my keyboard. <laughs> um, I'll just do this. This is, I'm just being a baby. But, so I think I'm going to try to figure out, I don't know, I'll figure something out. But I just wanted to say, pop in and say that I finished Eclipse. Also, that's the lining of a pillow that Murphy chewed the pillowcase up for, which is fine. We're just putting the lining in here so he doesn't eat that too. I want, oh, I was going to tell you about Eclipse the movie, which is fine. I will say, from what I've, like from this reread and rewatch of everything with Twilight, the movies I think do a much better job of keeping a consistent storyline throughout all of them so far, which the books kind of do. But the book, I feel like the books always focus so much on the struggle and the relationship and like the love triangle aspect with Jacob and Edward and Bella. And then they focus on like, because they're all told from Bella's point of view and all Bella really cares about is Edward and like her love like relationship with him which is fine hey Murph big yawn cutest dog in the world but the movies do a much better job of being like that's great Bella has feelings let's move this show along which I prefer I think I don't know I think the movies just also cut a lot of the worst parts that every character has so besides Rosalie Rosalie gets a shit hand in the movies but in the books, Alice is overbearing as a friend. And in the movies, they don't even show that. In the books, Edward is much more controlling. And in the movie, they let him be a little controlling, but it's not the same. Also, in Eclipse the Book, Jacob sexually assaults Bella, which is not something that I remember happening for my first read. And it doesn't really happen like that in the movie. I mean, it does. Like, he kisses her and she doesn't want him to. But because you can't hear her monologue, and she doesn't actually get as mad at him as she does in the book, if that makes sense. And also, Charlie doesn't congratulate him for it in the movie, which is also good because we don't stand teenage girls' dads standing the boys who sexually assault them. Okay. But anyways, I just wanted to check in and say that I'm going to start Breaking Dawn probably tomorrow so that hopefully... Because I would like... I'm, I started an, another audiobook and I would like to finish it before I listen to Breaking Dawn. And I listen to my audiobooks on double speed and it's an 11 and a half hour audiobook, which means it should take me just under six hours to read it. And I think I'm already like two or three hours in. I think I've read it or listened to about an hour and a half of it, which is about three hours of it. So I, I think I might try to finish that. I don't know. Did you hear that? Yo, are you good? Are you okay? Are you good? Psycho? It's disgusting. Are you kidding me? Anyways, that's it. That's the update. I'll talk to you later. Hello, I'm back to check in about Breaking Dawn. I started it the other day, um, yesterday, and I'm just past the point where she's had the baby and Bella has had the baby and become human. And I just remembered, oh, sorry, this is so shaky. I just remembered when my, <laughs> When I, the first time I was going to read the book, I was really excited about it. And my brother is like two years older than me and a girl in his class read the book and was talking about it. So he spoiled it for me, but it sounded so ridiculous that I like didn't believe that that's what really happened. But then I read it and that was what really happened. And that was what really happened being Edward and Bella have a baby. And then Jacob imprints on it. So I've seen Jacob's like point of view imprinting, but Bella doesn't know that he imprinted yet and where I am. And it's still just as ridiculous as it was the first time. That's the only update I really have for you guys, I think. 
Because I think I told you when I watched the Eclipse movie, and they, I think I told you that I read The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner because I read it before I saw the movie. But that's it. I just took my dogs for a walk. It is hot as brick outside. This morning I filmed my, what is it, the musical theater book tag that I got from Kelsey at Bookishly Nerdy. So I'll link that if you want to watch it. I want to show you what Murphy's doing right now. Hang on. Look at him. What is he up to? What are you up to? There's Marv. But look at that silly boy. They're exhausted from their walk, which I am too. It was so hot outside. But that's it for me today, I think, or for this update. I don't think I have anything else to say to you except for that. So yeah, I'll check in with you when I finish the book. I think I have like 10 more hours, which is, I listened to my books at double speed, so five hours. So hopefully I can finish it so Matt and I can watch the movies this weekend. Matt wants to watch the part two because neither of us ever saw Breaking Dawn part two. I'm fairly sure I saw Breaking Dawn part one at a friend's house in junior high or high school maybe. I don't remember when it came out but I never watched the second one. So we're gonna try to do like a movie day. And I was gonna do it tomorrow, cause it's Friday today, I was gonna do it on Saturday, but I think now we might have to do it on Sunday cause I don't know if I'm gonna finish this on time, but I would like to finish it so that we can do that this weekend. That's it. <laughs> um, I'll check in with you guys soon. in my living room um <laughs> i am just checking in to tell you that i finished breaking dawn um the book on friday or saturday hi murph <laughs> what are you doing um and yeah it was fine it's i never really liked breaking dawn i always thought it was a very weird ending to the whole series i thought edward and bella having a kid was weird Naming it Renesme was weird. Having Jacob imprint on it was weird. Breaking Dawn is just a whole like subsection that I feel like I always blocked from my brain and I never watched the movies. I might have seen part one once upon a time. I don't remember. But Matt and I were supposed to watch the movies this weekend and then we weren't really in the mood for like a double feature of Breaking Dawn. So we might try to do it this weekend. I was thinking if not, I might just watch them on my own so that I can have this vlog finished and ready to go. But, um, yeah, that's really the only update I have for you. I'm, am I glad I reread all of Twilight? I mean, kind of. I'm excited to read Midnight Sun finally and, like, wrap this whole thing up. But, I don't know. I feel like I had so much gusto and I was so excited for the beginning of it. And then it just gets weird after Eclipse, I think. Am I wrong? Do other people feel the same way? I don't know. But I'm excited. I am excited to see the movie finally. So I'll watch that at some point. Tomorrow, it's Wednesday today. Wednesday the 29th of July. And tomorrow is my summer school, my summer class final. So I'm working on some stuff for that right now. And then, I don't know, after that, I will try to watch Breaking Dawn. And I'll be done with summer school, but I do still have to take the MPRE. The MPRE is an exam that lawyers have to take before we're allowed to sit the bar, uh, which is how you become a lawyer. Uh, once you graduate law school <laughs> but um the sooner you can take the mpre the sooner you can do like clinics and stuff and help um help out people pro se and stuff but um it's basically like a an ethics test so we're working on that we being me i'm working on that right now um and that's it it's like a really weird cloudy day i can't tell if it's gonna rain or what is happening but I don't know. I filmed my August TBR yesterday, I guess, and I'm waiting to, I need to finish doing my edits and stuff of that. But, um, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to check in and tell you that I finished all the books and now I need to do the last 
uh, movie watching, but <sighs> all in good time, I suppose. Um, I will keep you updated on how I enjoy the movies because that's the point of this. But all right, uh, I'll catch you later. Bye. Hello, it's um, editing Mary. I'm actually editing the vlog right now, and I realized that I never came back and closed it out. So I just wanted to say this is the end. <laughs> I didn't actually end up finishing the Breaking Dawn part two. We never watched the movie. We watched Breaking Dawn part one. I don't really have thoughts on it. Uh, that's it. I guess the final thought that I have on the whole Breaking Dawn fiasco as a book is it's very weird. It's a very weird conclusion to the whole Twilight series. Also, I remember it being like the steamiest thing when I read it in the eighth grade. And it's not actually that, um, there's like not, there aren't really like sex scenes in it. So that was weird to discover as an adult. Cause I remember being like embarrassed while I read it when I was a kid, but I don't know. Anyways, um, that's it for this vlog. It's been a wild ride. Like I said, it's like August 15th now. So I planned on having this up at the end of September and it's been almost like three weeks since I was originally intending to put this vlog up. So sorry it's so late. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did make it this far, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you're interested in more content from me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.